Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in my last video I told you I was planning to film a how-to on how to make a Beauty and the Beast inspired enchanted rose lamp. And this is the finished product. I'm going to walk you through how I made this. It was my first attempt, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Almost everything I used was just stuff I picked up on the high street. So if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. So, let's get started. So you're going to need a large sized glass bell jar. I got mine from Ikea along with the two red roses. You'll need two roses, one as a feature piece and the other to dismantle for the petals which will be placed at the face of the enchanted rose to imitate the falling petals in the movie. You'll need a matte top coat to create the frozen effect we see around the glass casing in the new live action version. If you prefer to recreate the original animated version then you can leave this step out. You'll need a fine tipped paintbrush and a fine tipped crafting tool to help create an etched look when we apply the matte top coat to emulate that frozen effect around the casing. To make the base of the dome look more opaque, like the one in the new movie, you'll need some silver craft paint. I prefer to use a spray craft enamel. And finally, you'll need a hot glue gun to apply the enchanted rose to the base along with the falling petals. You can use a nail to secure the rose if you prefer, but I found the hot glue gun worked fine for me. And also you'll need some LED lights, I got mine from Primark. So the first thing I did was take the wooden base and the silver craft enamel and I took that outside and I spray painted it and left it out there while I got on with the rest of the job. <laughs> 